Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. In the vast starry sky of science and technology, the birth of every new technology is like a bright star, illuminating the way forward for mankind. In recent years, with the widespread application of 5G technology, the global communications field has entered a new era. However, while China is immersed in the speed revolution brought by Huawei's 5G, Japan has quietly launched a challenge to 6G technology, claiming that the 6G technology it developed is 200 times faster than the existing 5G. The tables have turned. Japan officially announced the world's first 6G technology. Foreign media, can Huawei still lead? 1. Japan's leap forward in 6G technology. Japan's strength in the field of communications technology has always been something that cannot be underestimated. As early as the 1980s, Japan relied on its strong technological strength to achieve world-renowned achievements in the field of mobile communications. After entering the 21st century, with the rapid development of global communication technology, Japan is also constantly exploring and innovating. In the context of fierce competition in 5G technology, Japan is not satisfied with the status quo, but has chosen a more forward-looking path, developing 6G technology. According to reports, a Japanese research team has made a major breakthrough in 6G technology. The 6G technology developed has faster transmission speeds and lower latency than 5G. Specifically, the data transmission speed of this 6G technology can reach tens of gigabytes per second or even higher, which is more than 200 times faster than existing 5G technology. This leap in speed means that in the future communication field, people will be able to enjoy a smoother and more efficient communication experience. 2. The reality behind leading. However, Japan's leadership in 6G technology does not come without costs. First of all, this high-speed transmission speed is achieved in a laboratory environment, and the transmission range is limited, only about 100 meters. This means that in practical applications, this 6G technology may not reach its full potential. In addition, because 6G technology involves more complex network architecture and communication technology, its research and development difficulty and cost are also relatively high. Therefore, although Japan has taken the lead in 6G technology, many technical difficulties and cost challenges still need to be overcome before it can be commercialized and widely used in real life. 3. Comparison with Huawei 5G In the field of 5G technology, Huawei is undoubtedly one of the world's leading companies. With its strong R&D strength and innovation capabilities, Huawei has obtained more than 3,200 patents in 5G core technology and ranks first in the world. The widespread application of Huawei's 5G technology not only promotes the rapid development of the global communications industry, but also brings great convenience to people's lives. Compared with Japan's 6G technology, Huawei's 5G technology has shown better performance and stability in practical applications. First of all, although the transmission speed of Huawei's 5G technology is not as fast as Japan's 6G technology, it is enough to meet people's daily communication and entertainment needs. Secondly, Huawei's 5G technology has wider coverage and can provide high-quality communication services in a wider area. In addition, Huawei's 5G technology also has lower latency and higher reliability, 
providing strong support for application scenarios such as autonomous driving and telemedicine. 4. Challenges and Opportunities Although Japan has taken the lead in 6G technology, many challenges still need to be overcome before it can be commercialized and widely used in real life. First of all, technical difficulties and cost challenges are one of the main factors restricting the development of 6G technology. In order to overcome these challenges, Japan needs to continue to increase research and development efforts and invest funds to promote the continuous progress and improvement of 6G technology. Secondly, International cooperation is also one of the important ways to promote the development of 6G technology. In the context of globalization, scientific and technological exchanges and cooperation between countries are becoming more and more frequent. By jointly developing 6G technology with international partners, Japan can learn from the advanced experience and technological achievements of other countries and accelerate the research and development process of 6G technology. Finally, market demand is also one of the important driving forces for the development of 6G technology. As people continue to pursue communication speed and quality, the future communication market will present more diversified and personalized needs. In order to meet these needs, technology companies such as Huawei are promoting the innovation and application of 6G technology, and any generation of communication technology needs to develop on the technology of the previous generation. Therefore, in the 6G field, as long as Huawei works hard on research and development, it can still maintain a certain level of the advantages. Japan's leadership in 6G technology undoubtedly brings new hopes and opportunities for future communication technology development. However, there are many challenges and difficulties that need to be overcome in order to translate this lead into practical applications and commercial value. During this process, China needs to maintain a rational and objective attitude, not only seeing Japan's achievements and progress in 6G technology, but also seeing the challenges and difficulties it faces. Only by accelerating the pace of research and development can Chinese companies such as Huawei maintain their leading edge in the mobile communications market. What do you think of this?